Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for September 3rd, 2019. So my goodness sakes, uh, not only do we have storms brewing on the East Coast, battering Florida and possibly threatening Georgia and the Carolinas, we have storms other places here in the market. We have currency fluctuations going on like crazy. We have uncertainty. In Brexit, we have increasing tariffs between U.S. and China. We have Argentina um, at or very near a total financial collapse. My goodness, what a crazy weekend we have had. Let's take a look at what has occurred here, or it looks to be occurring this morning in the market. Although the futures have bounced off of early morning lows, significantly bounced actually off of early morning lows, we're still looking at a gap down morning this morning here in the Dow. Now, if we, we remember, we made an attempt here at the 50-day moving average. This failure this morning would again constitute that failure at the 50-day moving average. However, it is holding above this gap that was created last Thursday. So it's holding right here, um, right on the cusp of, uh, well, that cliff edge, I, I guess I should, should say, of the gap that was created Thursday um, on that big move up. So now the question remains this morning, how are we going to react um, after this morning gap down? Are those bears going to come in or are we going to see the bulls defend? If the bulls happen to, fend, to defend this area right here, we could be okay. If we hold on in here, we possibly bounce right back up into this little area. There's a little bit of price support here on the diamonds. So if we were to bounce back up and hold in here, we might be okay. However, if those bears come in this morning, driving this down after the morning open, filling this gap, we could have some trouble. And I, and I, at this point, I'm kind of leaning toward the possibility of a, that gap being filled here today. Now we have economic data that could certainly change that. And we'll talk about that in a second. But just looking at the technicals here, we're not in the best of conditions here uh, for this morning's open. Now, one thing that could also help us here is just the fact that <clears throat> we have um, traders coming back from vacations. Uh, some of those traders will likely not come back uh, today. They'll be extending their vacation. So we could see after this gap down a little bit of light and choppy volume that may help us hold up in here um you know i, I wouldn't say that the the bottom is falling out of this um in any way shape or form but there is a concern with that gap below so let's watch that closely and that failure up here at the 50-day moving average certainly an uncomfortable situation to be looking at in the Dow. Let's take a look at the SPY. Now SPY did a better job um, ar around that 50-day moving average uh, initially, but certainly Friday left a whole lot to be desired as we really showed that dark cloud cover failure pattern here at price resistance on uh, the SPY. Now we're following that through this morning with this gap down, this significant gap down, and we're following again right into that open gap that was created on Thursday so let's take a look at that that open gap right in here so now the question is are we going to find a little price support in here this morning will those bulls be able to push us back up or will we see those bears maybe drive down to maybe fill that gap this morning? I have no idea what the answer to that is going to be. In fact, I think there's more confusion now than there may have ever been with the uncertainty in the way currencies are spinning around and everything out there. Could be a pretty challenging time uh, for the market. And of course, you know, we have to also keep in mind that um, 
um, tariffs between U.S. and China increased on Sunday. And so we're also dealing uh, with that uh, this morning. So a little bit of fluctuation here this morning, but a lot of confusion here in the market as to exactly what's going to occur and just some uncomfortable price action for us to have to deal with. Let's take a look at the cues. Q is rallying up nicely on Friday, but once again failing right there at the 50-day moving average and now following through to the downside this morning. Now, one fortunate thing about the Qs is they really don't have this major gap in here because the Qs did test down in here and rally back. So as we look at this this morning, this push down here this morning, no major gap in here to fill, but we certainly have that possibility that we could drift on lower. Uh, testing some support levels here on the chart. So we'll we'll want to watch that closely. If those bears take a hold, if those bulls hold up, great. We have some opportunity here to maybe push higher, but watch that 50-day moving average as resistance. Let's take a look at IWM. IWM, you know, pretty hard to have any kind of a bullish feeling or any warm and fuzzy feelings about IWM, except for the fact that it did hold on to this level of support in here and we bounced back up in this market rally. But let's face the facts that even uh, first we have the longer term big downtrend that's been going on all year. Now we're testing this downtrend resistance and uh, we pushed against that, failed. And as you can see this morning, we're gapping down this morning and we have this opening for a gap lower. Pretty ugly chart for us to be getting too warm and fuzzy about. But if those bulls do happen to hold this up in here, we could see uh, you know another test of this downtrend or price resistance levels that are just above. Let's take a look at the VIX. Now the VIX showed us a little bit of fear on Friday coming in on that sell-off. That gives a, should give us just a little bit of a pause. If we were to take a look at this uh, trend here, here's that downtrend break that we've been kind of keeping an eye on and holding this price support in here was kind of important now we're kind of hanging on to this uptrend and this morning's gap down could certainly kick that fear up here a little bit more and if we happen to slip into that gap that fear could really begin to rise pretty quickly so let's keep an eye on it particularly if we happen to break out of these um, highs in here breaking that wedge pushing on up that would be a concern. So let's keep a close eye on the VIX. See how that fear really comes in this morning. Um, where that real, how that really transpires into the price action today. Let's take a look at T2122. T2122 is that four week new high, new low ratio. And you see one of those things that I, I've mentioned that I just, it just drives me crazy anymore. We can't seem to get any stability overall or, or even common sense it's just we whip one direction or another it's all or nothing um, all the time and that whip is causing all kinds of uncertainty all kinds of uncomfortable price action obviously and um, now here we are we went from you know oversold in t2122 to nearly completely overbought in just you know one fell swoop and now we're getting this ugly gap down this morning that's likely going to bring us um, substantially lower in t2122 so unfortunately it's not helping us here and um, as a matter of fact what I think it's doing is it's just really wearing out uh, traders and and the uncertainty of the price action here is just to convincing people they need to be staying on the sidelines not trading at all protecting their capital because of these wild fluctuations that we're seeing in the market and certainly t2122 is demonstrating that how we'll go from you know nearly overbought to completely oversold back right back up and just springing back and forth pretty unfortunate the way this price action is has developed and and now spilling over into september so be really careful out there guys a uh, lot of challenges for us to deal with in price action let's take a look at our economic calendar today now um, our economic calendar definitely has something to say about the market today 
as you can see, we get our PMI number, um, housing number here at uh, 945. We'll have to keep an eye on that. <clears throat> but the bigger number of the day is the ISM manufacturing. Hopefully that stays in there. Consensus has all of these numbers today looking pretty strong. Consensus doesn't see uh, see much of, of a fluctuation. That could certainly help us here, uh, um, uh, maybe inspiring those bulls to hold on, to hold up. But if there were any surprise numbers in these uh, that come out in here, that could certainly um, inspire those bears. So let's keep a close eye on those. Uh, today in this short week we have a lot of big reports uh coming out and it's really going to all kind of focus in on this report employment situation has that held up through all of this turmoil will that hang on um, that's the big question that'll be coming on friday Keep in mind we have the, all the ADP and all those uh, the reports that are normally on a Wednesday on Thursday this week because of the shortened week. So we have quite a pile of things coming in, not alone a whole bunch of Fed speak uh, going on this week that we'll want to keep an eye on. So um, oof, um, it could be, could be an interesting week of uh, data that we're going to have to deal with here in the market. On the earnings front, not a whole lot going on on earnings today. 30-some companies reporting earnings, um, but not none that are, are um, uh, really majorly notable. Um, I, I would take note of maybe C-O-N-N. Uh, Con reporting uh, this morning, gapping up nicely here this morning on its report. And then um, Coop um, also reporting sometime today. It doesn't look like it's reported yet. Um, also reporting sometimes today that could be one of the more notables of, of the day. So kind of keep that in mind. Um, let's take a look. Well, before we do that... Um, Guys, you know the purpose of these videos, and I and I know I'm I'm, I'm probably sounding a little bit um, blasé this morning, and I, and I really kind of feel a little bit blasé this morning. You know, we we get that little bit of a hope here on at the end of the week, and then they kind of smash that against the shore with a complete reversal. All of these gaps, all of this whip, all of the emotion in the market has really become tiresome. And I don't know about you, but it's just really become tiresome. And the the um, the thing is the uncertainty that's circ um, circulating around the world right now with all the currency fluctuations, everything going on out there, um, pretty darn difficult to determine uh, where this market's going to go. And since we're doing everything through new spin anymore um, and tweets, it, it becomes even more uncomfortable to trade. So just I just want to suggest that you be very very careful um, in your trading and um, protect that capital remember the markets will come back around one thing I am absolutely confident of is this will end someday and the markets will come back around but while this is going on I just hate seeing people losing money hand over fist in this challenging market. So please do the best job you can protecting that capital. And remember, you don't have to trade. Um, with the market the way it is, we don't have to trade uh, a market like this when there's very little edge. Right now, the best edge that you can have is being an intraday trader. Just really, really quick price action back and forth. Uh, daily swing trading, um, uh, position trading can be very, very difficult in this kind of market with so much uncertainty. We don't know where it's going to go from there. So be careful. Now, if you find these videos helpful, remember the purpose of these videos is not to predict anything. It's to look at the technicals of the chart, look at the technicals of, of, of the things that are occur occurring that could affect the market and help you decide how you're going to approach the market for today. And if you find these videos useful or helpful, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Click that 
uh, bell icon when it happens to pop up and and so that you can be notified every time one of these videos comes out and by the way there's there's a, one of these videos every single market day plus just a ton of free market education out there um, on the channel to take advantage of so please uh, feel free to take advantage of any of that and I want to um, um, ask you also if you find this video helpful, please feel free to share it with any friends or family. That's how we're going to expand and grow this kind of information without all the hype, without all the, you know, the goofiness that you might see in other places out there. Just some real trading and some real ideas on trading. Now, um, also, please click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment. Every time you guys do that, it helps those algorithms show these videos to more folks. And I truly, truly appreciate it. Some of the kind comments this weekend were so overwhelming i gotta tell you i, I am so humbled by um uh, you the comments that you guys make um thank you so much you're awesome i truly truly appreciate it so with that let's take a look at some charts uh, that could be setting up and i'm gonna be i'm just gonna issue a, a word of caution here although there are some good charts out there that could be showing long trades uh, uh, good charts that could be short, showing tor short trades we should be really really careful how we approach this market and um, watch that stuff very very closely so one of the charts that i want to point out this morning is tyson tyson defensive sector stocks have just been really really strong holding up holding up well and as you can see Tyson um, doing a really good job holding this trend holding in there really really strong and looking pretty darn positive so let's keep an eye on Tyson um, it could continue um, that kind of price action move as long as there's so much uncertainty in the market might want to keep an eye on that um, um, other than defensive stocks like Tyson and Coke and maybe um, MDLZ and those kind of things, uh, you might want to take a look at um, a stock like Home Depot. Now, Home Depot is getting... Um, tremendous benefit obviously from the storms when we when we see um hurricane season kicking up and the potential of damage and things like that um uh, retail stores like home depot lowe's um, anything in the building um, industry tends to tick up so you might want to keep an eye on home depot now this has already made a significant move i think a little bit of rest or pullback and if you watch the videos from just a few days ago um, i was mentioning home depot as a possible trade and um uh, I think now it may be a little bit extend, extended and a rest and pullback might be um, in play. But let's face it, we've got a beautiful upside trend here and we should be keeping this chart on a list for a potential uh, trade to occur. Take a look at TTWO. TTWO had a little bit of a pullback, a little bit of stress on it on a Friday um, with the market pulling back. But you gotta admit this thing is holding up extremely well. Now the pressures of the market today could certainly um, send this a little bit lower but I'd want to keep an eye on this chart maybe uh, pay attention to it um, if it does start to come back around show signs of of that um, springing back higher so maybe keep an eye on it some issues that uh, that it may have to work through this morning with the gap down but TTWO is just held up in a beautiful trend we'd want to keep an eye on that Starbucks is another that has done a really good job at hold, of holding up. Now it took it kind of a, a hit here on Friday, pretty much expected as the as the market sold off, and it may take a little bit more of that today. But as long as we hold in this consolidation, maybe worth uh, keeping an eye on a Starbucks. So something to to watch, maybe pay attention to. Now a few st stocks that could be setting themselves up for more short trading it would be facebook now facebook did break above its downtrend here with the big moves on wednesday and thursday but you can see kind of struggling here uh this morning gapping down this morning uh facebook um is also you know part of that uh probe by the federal government
comment on antitrust. And um, I'd keep an eye maybe on Facebook as a potential to uh, slip even lower here. Um, might be one to keep an eye on. Um, Amazon is is another that is part of that probe and amazon on friday uh, leaving a pretty disturbing pattern here now following through this morning to the downside amazon could be setting itself up for more downside so you might want to keep an eye on on that now it is possible it could find its support right in here right in this level but certainly a concern here overall so with that there's a few charts that maybe keep an eye on i would be really really careful considering the fact that we have um you know our financials um continuing to show a decline our transports um continuing in ugly declines here i would be really really careful um, with your trading uh, maybe do a little bit more of protecting your capital credit spread trades those kind of things if you're an option trader uh, look pretty good right now with the high implied volatility so everyone take care i want to wish you all a fantastic day i wish i could have given you better news this morning but you know that's the way it is that's that's the way the market sets itself up and if you're struggling as a trader i want to encourage you not to give up, but to certainly back off from your trading, protect that capital. You remember, we don't have to trade every day to be successful. So with that, everyone, have an awesome, awesome day. We'll see you right back here bright and early Wednesday morning. Have a good one.